Well, hey guys, welcome back to Adventures with Crystal. I want to show you my brand new toy hauler. Well, it's not brand new, but it's new to me. All right, I've made a lot of modifications to it since I bought it. I'm going to be able to travel, take my Harleys with me, both of them, okay, and see the countryside. I'll be able to go to a lot more places and take you guys with me, all right? So this is going to be a fun, exciting time, all right? I'm going to show you some before and after pictures, okay, so you can see exactly what I did and how I did it. So if you find a toy hauler that's used and you think, oh, it doesn't look great, look what you can do with it. It looks marvelous now, I think. This is so me, all right? So, all right, let's take a look and see what I did to the camper. All right, so this is the camper as I bought it, okay? So you gotta use some vision here and think, what can I do with this camper? It's just like a house, you know, you look at a house and you go, well, the bones are good. So this is how the camper looked. The beds were a little rusty, okay? The refrigerator had stickers on it and you know how you can get those stickers off is WD-40, yep. So I was looking at it and I thought, you know, I can work with this. You know, I needed something to haul my motorcycles in and both beds flip up and all I have to do is do some touch-up stuff to this camper. I can camp in it and I can take my motorcycles with me. Well, one at a time, right? All right, so the mattresses were original. So I got rid of the mattresses and I bought new mattresses for it. Yep, nice cushiony mattresses with some foam built in. So I painted those frames right there that you're seeing and they turned out very nicely. I used an oil-based latex. It took a while to, you know, to dry, and it took a while to get them painted, really. This is a pic of the fridge, and the stickers, like I said, they come off with WD-40. I decided I just wanted a plain black fridge, keep it simple, so I got all the stickers off, and I think it turned out pretty darn nice. The cabinet doors were painted a gray color, so I decided to brighten it up, so I painted them white. I think I like that much better, too. The back behind the counter was a slate gray kind of color. I decided to liven that up, and I put in wallpaper. Yep, brick stick-on wallpaper. This is a nice storage area above the counter, all right, except it just holds, and I thought, you know, it's not very pretty. So I made these white signs for it. I've got storage stuff up there, as you can see. The white boards I had, I just cut them, and then I painted them white, and I put a decal on them, you know, with nice sayings, motivational sayings. So there's two of them, and you can take it off. And I got my coffee stuff hid back there, right? Yep. So put it back on. And there we go, it looks nice and it's hidden. I needed to get as many things off the counter as I could, so I decided to hang a rack and put my mugs up there. I thought that turned out pretty darn good. The rack I got at Ikea. And you can just hook things onto there. You could put spoons, spatulas, whatever you want. Wasn't hard to put up. This little paper towel rack I got off Amazon. Easy as can be. You know, it takes two screws to put up in there, and I'm getting really good with my electric drill. Now it's time to show you my beautiful retro appliances. This little thing, I don't know what you call it. Anyway, so this is a toaster oven on that part down there. Works really well. Cute little thing, I could make biscuits if I want to. Up top is a grill. I could do my bacon if I want. And the best part of this is the little coffee pot over to the side. Y'all know how I like my coffee, okay? Yep. So cute little thing, huh? Next up is my retro microwave oven. It's a regular microwave, but it's made to look old, okay? Both of these appliances were made by Nostalgia. Yep, got it off Amazon, my favorite place to go shopping, right? also got this little crock pot. I thought it was going to be bigger, but it'll work for me. The TV set was already installed when I bought the camper. 
and it's on a swivel. It will move and turn so many directions, so no matter which way you are, if you're in a chair, if you're laying down in bed, you can watch TV. Pretty cool, huh? There's more storage up here, as you can see. Electrical plugs up in there. And I just made a board the same as the others, it's black, and put them up there. So, and that's that little net that holds things in there too. I also came with this cool radio. Looks like the old fashioned car radios, doesn't it? And it works. There's two speakers on the inside of the camper, and there's two speakers on the outside of the camper, which is really cool. These are the two speakers on the outside. I cleaned out the fridge, made it spick and span, ready to go. Got my root beer in there, got some water in there, and it's ready to put food in there for when I go camping. If the cabinets below are great for food storage. Plenty of space, I haven't even packed things up. That's my Jackery. Yep, extra, you know, source of electricity. This I put in, check this out, collapsible shelf. It's painted white. All that is is a cutting board. It's bamboo. It's very light. So these will go up, and I still got to attach it. I, when attached, it's going to be my charger station. Okay, I found this cool mirror for getting ready in the morning. This I found at IKEA. It's nice. It's on a stretch thing, comes out, and it turns back and forth, and then it lays flat against the wall again. This was originally supposed to be for the tools for the camper, but I've decided to turn it into where I keep my makeup and all my getting ready in the morning stuff. There's silver plating that came with the camper that's between that long black thing right there behind the pillows. It had a few marks on it that wouldn't come out. So what I decided to do is I went to the dollar store and I got these little pearl adhesive strips and I just backed it with those. I put them all over it. Not sure I'll keep that, but for now, it's not bad. On this side is the second bed that folds down. So I got mattresses for these, brand new mattresses, and I got these pillows, new comforters, sheets, everything. I had two of the pillow covers left over. So what I did with those is make curtains for the entire camper. Cute. This is a cool feature. It's a screen that's built in that comes straight down. If I want a lot of ventilation, I just pull it down. Pretty cool, huh? Rolls right back up. So I've added a frog who's really cool on the side of the camper. There's an awning that I haven't learned to pull out yet. Let's do a walk around and see the camper. Don't look at my garage. I know it's messy. Yeah. It came with a toolbox on the front and a battery and a tire, which is so handy in case I need those. On this side, I outlined the graphics in orange again and I put another frog on. Yep, another dancing frog. My last camper had the same thing. There you go, see my frog, isn't he cute? I like him. Yep, feeling a little froggy, you know. So I had no idea that this camper had a screen door. Um, talk about pleasantly surprised and it's got like a pass-through door I guess so you don't have to open the whole door and let bugs inside you know you need to hand somebody something you pull that little door that little slider and you can hand somebody stuff in if you need to the camper came with two places to add the chalk you know the thing that holds the motorcycle in place when you're you know traveling so I had to get creative because I couldn't find a chalk that fit those. So I got creative and I decided I would take a board and attach those things to it. And then I would attach the chalk to the board and slide it all in. I had to definitely measure accurately for this and it worked perfectly. I attached an eye hole bolt. That way I can zip tie it to one of the tie downs that's right there just for added security. Well, Karma is definitely ready to go camping. It's been a while for us. Okay, here's a funny 
look in the microwave. You're going to see my head in the microwave. Pretty darn funny. I didn't do that on purpose. I was taking pictures. Sent it to my son, and then my son put himself in the camper also. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this video and you got to see what you can do with a camper. I'll soon be out in it and going places with the motorcycle. The first time out, I'm just going to take it out camping. And then I've got to figure out where to go with the motorcycle. Got any suggestions? Let me know. All right, guys. Thanks, and please like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe. Bye.